Summary of the Boarding House by James Joyce The story The Boarding House is about what happens after a young woman named Polly and a man named Mr. Doran have an affair in early 20th century Dublin. Mr. Doran stays at the boarding house run by Polly's mother, Mrs. Mooney, where Mr. Doran is a lodger. Mrs. Mooney used to be married to a drunk man who tried to attack her one night with a meat knife. After that, Mrs. Mooney asked the priest for permission to leave her husband. At the time, divorce wasn't allowed in Ireland. With the money she got from the marriage, Mrs. Mooney opened a boarding house. Most of the people who live there are clerks, but there are also some traveling musicians who are on the edge of polite society. The people who live with her call her the madam. Mrs. Mooney's two children, Jack, a clerk who fights and gambles a lot, and Polly, a pretty and flirty 19-year-old girl, also live at the boarding house. Polly's mother sent her to work as a typist for a corn seller, but when Polly's father kept bothering her at work, Mrs. Mooney brought her back home. Polly flirts with the other boarders at Mrs. Mooney's boarding house, but Mrs. Mooney doesn't care, even when one romance seems to lead to a secret relationship. When Mrs. Mooney realizes that the relationship has gone too far for the man to back out, she decides to step in. She starts by talking to Polly about how far things have gone. The next morning, she sits alone in her breakfast room on a sunny Sunday and thinks about what she wants to say to Mr. Doran. She is determined to get Polly a marriage proposal, and she's sure she'll be able to do it. She is happy with herself because she knows that Mr. Doran has a good salary and some money saved up. While this is going on, Mr. Doran is in his bedroom, very nervous about this talk. He is shaking so much that he can't shave. It hurts him a lot to think about telling the priest about the affair the night before. He's not sure if he loves or even likes Polly, and he thinks his family would look down on her. However, he's terrified of losing his job or image if people find out about their relationship. While Mr. Doran is upset, Polly comes to his bedroom door and tells him that she has told her mother everything about their affair. She seems upset, so he calms her and thinks back to the times she tempted him, like when she stayed up late to serve him dinner and punch and when she came to his door late at night to relight her candle. Mary, a worker, comes to get Mr. Doran so he can talk to Mrs. Mooney. Mr. Doran leaves Polly crying on the bed, and as he goes down the stairs, he thinks about how his boss doesn't like him. He also sees Jack Mooney and remembers how he had threatened violence against another lodger for what he thought was a sexual joke about Polly. Polly wipes away her tears in her bedroom and drifts off into happy daydreams, which doesn't bother her at all. Soon, Mrs. Mooney calls her downstairs to tell her that Mr. Doran wants to talk to her. About the author James Augustine Aloysius Joyce was born in Rathgar, a town just outside of Dublin's centre. He was the oldest of ten children who lived to adulthood in a Catholic family. Joyce went to a well-known boarding school when his family was doing well, but he became distant when his father's drinking and carelessness with money put the family in debt. Joyce did well at a nearby Jesuit school, and then he went to University College, Dublin, to study languages, literature, and theatre. After he graduated, he went to Paris with the plan of becoming a doctor. However, he soon changed his mind and decided to focus on writing instead. In 1903, when his mother was dying, he went back to Dublin, but at the end of 1904, he went back to mainland Europe, this time with his new partner, Nora Barnacle. First, they lived in Austria-Hungary. After that, they moved to Trieste, Italy, where their two children were born. Dubliners was Joyce's first book. It came out in 1914, but he had been writing the short stories in it for 10 years. When the First World War broke out, Joyce and his family left Italy and moved to Zurich, where they stayed until 1919. A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man was Joyce's first book. It came out in 1916. In the years that followed, Joyce and his family lived in Trieste, Paris, and Zurich while he wrote and released his novels Ulysses, 1922, and Finnegan's Wake, 1939. These books made him one of the most famous avant-garde writers in the world. He was 58 years old when he died in Zurich in 1941. He had a bleeding ulcer. Even though Joyce was young, he spoke out against the Catholic Church. 
However, many reviewers have said that much of his work has a Catholic spirit. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.